sounded great. <laughs> so we're continuing with the, uh, the hit manual here. And uh, Tyson is helping with uh, the shots in the background. That's our special effects. So, um, all right, we're going to go through preface. So um, for those that don't know, that's obviously, you know, just the introductory remarks to introduce or begin this whole uh, subject. So um, great golfers are like great magicians to watch. The average golfer could watch them a thousand times and still not comprehend or see the key trick or the right thing that allows them to hit the ball so far, so straight and so effortlessly. Now I think of people like uh, Lee Trevino, I think of Seve Ballesteros, I think of um, Jose Maria Alathabal, I, I think these are some of the older ones. Yeah. Uh, obviously your Ben Hogan's even further back and your uh, Bobby Jones and all these characters and then more and more um, were able to feel what was going on. Um, I don't know if you think of any particular players. Oh, John Rahm's pretty good, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's great. Yeah, he is great. Yep. Um, Even Min Wee Lee. Yeah. Just like his minimal backswing, but the pace and speed yeah. and power that he can generate out of it's right. fascinating. Awesome. So it says you could look at their swings in slow motion, make a detailed analysis of what every part of their body is doing, and still be no closer to unlocking the mystery. Yeah. Yes, they have practiced for years. Yes, they may have a great natural ability, but you know there is something that they're doing that you don't know about. You yourself have probably had your swing working effortlessly under control for a number of shots, only to have the magic disappear. You know you have the natural ability to play great golf. Just imagine what it would be like to play golf to your natural ability. What is the key to allowing you to play to your natural ability? This is the question that this whole program is set out to answer. Traditional golf instruction usually attempts to teach by describing where parts of the body must be at particular times. But in researching natural golf, it was found that the positions reached by the golfer in the downswing were the indirect result of trying to do something totally different than to get into those positions. A uh, little bit more, but on that, obviously this morning there was something that you and I, I think we were talking about with regards to your backswing yeah. and the club face and yeah. you, this dilemma between the two of feeling the club face or knowing, or is it closed or open or whatever. Yeah. But that's not even necessarily spoken about here. No. So would that fit into that category yeah. for you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then the above describes the dilemma faced by the researchers of the natural golf program. They spent thousands of hours identifying, experimenting with, and testing golf swings. And then there came a breakthrough, evaluating the golf shot as a pushing action rather than a pulling action. The outcome of all of this work resulted in a unique program with the following characteristics. One, a mechanically simple golf stroke forms the basis of every shot. This stroke has power, accuracy, reliability, and can easily be mastered by normal people, quote unquote. <laughs> Once mastered, this stroke is brutally efficient and feels totally natural. Over to you. What have you got to say about that? The feeling once you finally get it of, and don't get me wrong, I've still got a lot to go to get there, but coming from a pulling motion to a throwing motion or a pushing action kind of thing. The difference in that, once you get that feel, is so significant. You have way more control. Um, obviously, you gain spin uh, where you want it. Uh, it's just a completely different feel altogether. Right. Yeah. I, um, I I think of the example of you know, <laughs> it's a fairly rough kind of example, but yeah. if your car was to conk out on the road yeah. and you've got to get it off, yeah. then it is not a natural thing to walk around the front yeah, of the vehicle. Yeah. Most people will generally get out and go to the back yeah. and anyone else that gets out of their car to help yeah. will always go to the back because now there's more power in pushing, pushing than there is in pulling off. And I actually don't even know the percentages anymore. 80, 85% of golfers are probably having trouble with their back because they're pulling on the club. Yeah. And that would be synonymous with, okay, 
trying to pull the car off the road. Exactly. Good luck. Yeah. Boy, are you going to have some sensations in your back from then on. 100%. And then it's just the power that you can generate out of that pushing versus pulling. And the thing that's a bit odd throughout the whole journey of going through the book is these misconceptions or illusions that you face as a golfer. When I first started and I was pulling, it was just how do I generate as much speed as possible? And when you have that mindset, you're more prone to pull because you're trying to use every single part of your body, not the way that it should be used. Right. Um, and for me, the, the most fascinating part of this journey is when you start getting that pushing feeling, but you are much calmer, <laughs> you are much more balanced, um, but you're gaining distance with all of your clubs and you feel a lot more smoother and a lot more free flowing versus that pulling action that I used to do. Yeah, great. Yeah. That's good. So it says the, the strokers learn principally through very special exercises they give years of successful experience in a matter of hours. It is through these exercises that your natural reaction to hitting that ball will change. You will then have unlocked for yourself the secret to the magic of playing great golf. Anything, anything you want to say about that? <laughs> well, I think at the end of the day, it's your confidence walking around the course knowing that you cleared mind uh, that's where you start getting your confidence up. That's when you start playing much better golf shots. Right. Um, and yeah, having that book there to refer back to at all times is the best part about it. And um, then it says, it says here, so it gives you years of ex successful experience and yeah. number of hours. Is that, is that like a bunch of hype or what is that? No, I, I think if, if you are, and we've spoken about this before, if you, if you are coachable and you are going to do the things that it tells you to do, the, the little things in that book, for me, um, the three probably big standouts, um, obviously the pushing versus pulling, um, the hip turn, um, which seems like a really simple thing, <clears throat> but until you get it down pat, which I still haven't got, but I know when I've done it properly, um, in conjunction with pushing your right hand bent, you know, those three little things that kind of impact and evolution of my golf game since focusing on just those three things alone has improved tenfold. Mm. Um, so in terms of, yeah, just being able to say, here you go, here's three things to focus on, mm. apply that, work on that, drill that, you get the experience that I would have loved to have had when I was back 22, smacking golf balls around a golf course, right. not knowing what I was doing, right? right. Um, yeah, great. So the simplification of those little things and those little tweaks of all the research that's been gone into this over however long, like I said, if you're coachable, just understand that, yep, at the start it might feel unnatural and it might feel weird when you're going through that journey, but all of a sudden you hit a really good golf shot and you can feel that you've done your hip turn, you push your right hand back, you've really thrown the club. Um, then you know it does work and you just got to drill it to keep building a repetitive swing, which nice. is probably the hardest part. Yeah, agreed. Well, it continues on to say that the same program of instruction is successful for the tour professional right down to the beginner. The method of instruction is so standardized that the results from doing the program can be and are guaranteed at any level. The real joy of golf starts after a repeating stroke is mastered. Instead of worrying about whether you will yank the ball to the left or peel it off to the right, thoughts of whether or not to fade or draw the ball start to emerge. Natural golf is a program which will deliver results you've only dreamt about. It will take work on your part, but you will see results for your work. The improvement in your golf will be proportional to the effort you put in, reward for effort something golf has rarely delivered in the past. Is that, uh, is that real to you? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't need to tell people that pra practice makes perfect. Um, you gotta be willing to do it. That's the key part, it's all well and good. And you hear about a lot of people that, especially around golf, it's quite common where people come in and have one lesson and think that it's gonna change their golf game completely. Um, 
I don't know of any <coughs> situation, scenario, sport, life for that matter, experience where you do it once and you're perfect at it and you never have to try and be better or learn new ways of doing it or just try to improve in general. It takes time and effort and practice to build on what you want to do. Right. If you enjoy the game and you want to play it well and you want to go out to a golf course and have a round with your mates where you're not worried about anything, you're actually enjoying yourself, um, then yeah, it takes a bit of effort and time to get there, but it makes those days a lot more enjoyable compared to not, right? right. And chasing the ball around and losing it, and where's the fun in that? Yeah. Well, we'll finish off this part with this. There's a, a learning key here, and it says golf, a special challenge. The fact that you need to work at the game of golf at the onset is compensated by the fact that you are acquiring an ability to play a fantastic game that will last you for the rest of your life. What does that mean to you personally, do you think? It's funny, you know, going through this, and I always say it to you, obviously, your history with the game and experiencing it and understanding it, but the first kind of year, if you're doing it, fairly consistently will be ups and downs. And no doubt for the rest of your golfing life, there's gonna be ups and downs. Um, but it takes a while to get feels and to drill in certain motions where your body just becomes natural to that movement. And the key, right, is to learn those things and drill those things so much so you don't ever have to think about it. So I myself am really looking forward to getting to a stage where I'm more competent <clears throat> and continue to drill the drills that are in there and the exercises and whatnot to get to a point where I can get out to a golf course and I don't think about anything other than, you know, hitting that ball and where I want that ball to go and where I want it to end up and what that shot looks like. That's when it becomes fun and the creative minds, you know, that's when it becomes a lot more enjoyable when you get out there and you're that confident that you're shaping it a certain way or you want it to end up somewhere that's much better than I need to stand over the ball, twist my hip, you know, <laughs> do all of these weird things. Um, the clearer your head, the, the better you're going to play, the more enjoyable the game's going to be. Thanks, Tyson. That's great. Cheers.